Sanu. That is how you say hello in the Hausa language, which is spoken near the Saharan Desert, a place known for shifting sands. I use that because today we will explore shifter circuits. Bit shifting is commonly needed for circuits that do mathematical computations and also control operations. The operation involves accepting a binary sequence and then moving the bits in a specified direction, left or right, by a specified number of bit places, usually one. A variety of shifter circuits can be made, and we'll discuss a few of them in the next couple videos. Note that these differ from shift registers, which will be explored later in the course. Shift registers are sequential circuits that hold memory. Bit shifters are combinational circuits. We'll look at four bit circuits here. An example bit shift operation is shown here. The input code is 0110, and this notation tells us to shift to the left by one place. So, this rightmost zero moves to the left by one slot. This one does the same, and this one does the same. What about the leading zero? It was already as far to the left as the sequence could hold, so it falls away into the bit bucket. Falling into the bit bucket could mean that this value is just discarded, or it could be sent to some other output, like a carryout flag. What about this new zero at the end? We must backfill some value into that position, either a zero or a one. In this case, a zero was chosen. We could interpret this example as purely a bit shift operation used for control purposes. For example, maybe the sequence determines when a disco light should turn on or off, and each millisecond, the leftmost bit provides the instruction. We could also interpret this bit shifting as multiplying by 2. In unsigned binary, the input converts to decimal 6 and the output to decimal 12. Shifting to the left and backfilling a 0 always multiplies by 2 in binary because the base is 2. This is akin to multiplying by 10 in decimal, where the base is 10. There are three important types of shifts. The first is a left shift. The notation for shift operations can change depending on your source, but a common one is to use these arrows, or less than symbols. Two left arrows followed by a one indicates that we should shift left by one bit. In a left shift, we always backfill with zero. As a result, the output code is 0010. Notice this rightmost one moves here and the leftmost one falls into the bit bucket. The second type is a logical shift right. This is indicated by three right arrows. We always backfill with a zero for a logical shift. As a result, 1101 shifted to the right by two bits yields 0011. These two rightmost bits fall into the bit bucket, and these two ones shift down. Most often, we'll shift by one bit, but it is good to see an example with a different number. The third type is an arithmetic shift right. This is indicated by two right arrows. The difference here is that the backfill value is determined by whatever the original most significant bit was. So, in the first example, we see a leading one. That original one got shifted down like usual and this new backfill bit is a 1 in order to match. In the second example, this leading 0 is shifted down by one position, and this new backfill bit is also a 0. What is the purpose of an arithmetic right shift? A clue is in that name. Arithmetic suggests we are doing math operations, and so the sign of the numbers matters. A leading one indicates a negative number, and that negative sign is preserved even after the shift. Similarly, a leading zero indicates a positive number, and that positive sign is preserved. 
Let's convert these bottom two examples to decimal, assuming two's complement form. The first shows negative six becoming negative three. The second shows positive two becoming positive one. In both cases, we have effectively divided by two and maintain the proper sign. We said before that shifting left multiplies by two, so it stands to reason that shifting right divides by two. What happens if we shift right by two bit positions? Well, that would mean we divide by two and then divide by two again for a total division of four. In the middle example, there is a logical right shift, so we must interpret in unsigned form. In decimal, this input of 13 divided by 4 would yield 3 plus a remainder. That remainder is discarded into the bit bucket, and we see the quotient of 3 there as the output. But how can we build circuits to do the shifting for us? If the desired function is a fixed shift in one direction, it is extremely simple. We don't even need gates. We can directly connect input signals to output signals as long as we order them properly. This schematic shows a complete circuit for shifting to the left by one bit. When shifting left, input A0, the least significant bit, gets shifted to the left and becomes Q1. A1 becomes Q2, and A2 becomes Q3. A3 is the signal that goes into the bit bucket. I could have simply connected it to nothing, but here I created a new output named shift out. Sometimes it is useful to know if the value exiting the sequence is zero or one. Lastly, the backfill bit is always going to be a zero with the left shift. Thus, the ground signal feeds in to Q0. A bit shifter like this with a single purpose is not often useful and can simply be replicated with wires. Much more useful are shifters that can choose from multiple operations. We'll explore those next video.